Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to discuss related to in range instruction and out range instruction. So first of all, in this session, we will be seeing about uh, in range instruction, right? So basically, a range means what? It will be having a minimum as well as a maximum value, and accordingly, it will be comparing the value of the counter or any other values, right? So here, if you are able to observe minimum range and maximum range that will be setting here. Okay, so suppose we are having a value of minimum as 2 and we are having a maximum value of 8. So whenever minimum range and the maximum range, whenever the value of the counter, okay, so suppose we are having some value coming from the counter or any other place, okay, so whenever both the values okay so when the range that is the value of the counter current value of the counter is in the range of that values okay so the minimum value as well as the maximum value then the output will be in the high state so even if you are able to observe whenever it is greater than or equal to the value minimum value or less than or equal to the maximum value the output will be in the high state otherwise it will be in the low state so let us observe how to use this in the logic okay uh, here we are having this in range instruction right so if you are able to observe uh, after completing we have completed all this uh, instructions right so we'll be taking the in range instruction in this lecture so i'll be giving an no here okay and then we'll be having an in range instruction okay so basically you need be, will be requiring a counter also okay so here we'll be giving it as ctu okay so this is our counter okay and then we'll be requiring an output right again okay. so what will happen here again the same things will be required so what are the tags required let me show you okay so let me okay so here we'll be requiring one input pulse right this is our input pulse okay so and then we'll be having a reset right and then we'll be having an led here so it will be q0.0 okay and then we'll be having a reset also uh, led also done and then we'll be having the current value of the counter right okay so this is the current value and we'll be requiring what is the uh, data type here that is double word right so and the last thing is md0 will be the address for this memory double word okay so let us see how to take now uh, here we will be requiring an input pulse okay so this is input pulse okay and then here we will be requiring a reset that is reset here okay and this is our preset value that is uh, suppose again we will be taking it as zero only and here we'll be requiring memory double word that is what we have taken in the previous lectures as well so all the things are similar to the previous lecture on only okay so the main thing is here we'll be observing this instruction right so what is the data type required let us change it as double integer because we'll, we can take a value of a range double integer right so true to the power 32 right so so many values can be taken okay so suppose we are taking it as uh, what we are what i told you 2 to 5 right so i am taking it as 2 to 8 suppose okay and here what value has to be compared right so basically in range uh, this value will be tested okay so the test will be under this current value will be under test right so current value of the counter will be under test so that is current value okay so whenever this value is equal to 2 or greater than 2 and less than 8 or equal to 8 the output will be in the high state so what is the output q0.0 .0 is the output right so let me download this okay after downloading let us go to the online mode okay after going to online mode we'll be going to the monitor mode 
okay now let me reset all the text first because uh, okay now it is zero right so now if you are able to observe the initial value or the current value of the counter is zero and the output is in the lowest rate because the output is not in the range that is the counter's value is not in the range of two to eight now we'll be increasing one by one by using the pulses right so i'm giving the first pulse okay so the first pulse is not equal to two that is not equal to the minimum value that is why the output is still in the low state now the next pulse will increase the uh, whenever you are giving the next pulse so two is equal to two that is the output is in the high state okay now i am increasing the current value again and again in this way the current value is increasing okay and when it is in the range of two to eight okay so the output will be in the high state so even if it is a equal to eight right so if you are able to observe uh, the value will be even if it is equal to eight then also the output is in the high state now when this value will go out of this range that is two to eight the output will be again in the low state okay so if you are able to observe now it has become nine and is still now the output is in the low state so in this way this input in range instruction is working right so the next instruction is out range that we'll be seeing in the next lecture.